Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think, um, you know, we got a lot of faith in Zarek. I really don't think it uh, had a lot to do with that, you know. Anytime you lose, uh, you know, you're not looking for excuses, I think. You know, it was, it was a lot more than just Kelly being out of the game. Um, you know, we got to do a better job as, as coaches, giving those guys a, uh, some, maybe some better opportunities versus what they were doing and give Syracuse credit. They did a, did a great job, had a great plan. Uh, their guys um, executed better, um, but you know I, I felt like uh, we still had a good shot uh, with Zare, and um, you know there's a lot more there than uh, just Kelly not being with us. Um, I'm not sure to be honest. I just know he's going to eventually be okay, but I didn't really hear his exact diagnosis. I know. I think maybe even we talked last week about some of the smaller things that you were hoping to clean up over the course of, of uh, this week, and, and some of those things didn't come back to bite you guys, particularly the converting on some of those short yardage plays. Um, what did you guys see out there against against that line that that, that, that was problematic? Yeah, I mean, that'll be obviously a uh, lot to coach off of, off this video. And, uh, you know, when you're playing a, a team like that, there's not a lot of opportunities. You know, there wasn't a ton of plays out there. And so that makes those third ones, there's not many of them, but it makes the ones that you run, they count. And, uh, you know, you got to find a way to get it done. And, and we did. So we got to look back and see uh, as coaches if we can uh, put them in a better uh, situation there. Uh, to be able to help him get that done. We obviously don't get to see practice, so why is Eric over Hunter? Um, I think he's just been more consistent um, when we've had you know, all spring and, and fall camp, and Hunter's done a really good job as well. Um, you know, he's, cl he's closing the gap, but you know, I think just from everything we've seen from January till now, uh, Zarek was a little bit ahead and, and uh, thought he did some good things at times, being thrown out there in that uh, environment, that situation. Um, obviously, he'll have plenty of things he can clean up, just like all the guys, but thought he did fair. Was there any talk of going for it on that fourth down that you ended up doing the fake punt on instead of just running a straight offensive play? Yeah, um, you know, there was a little bit of talk, but I think with six minutes left, um, you know, we wanted to try something else and um, you know, didn't get it done. Coach, uh, I thought it was interesting. Um, T. Higgins had a pretty good game last week. Um, I don't think he got in uh, tonight, but uh, so at one point he ran three straight plays for Amari. Um, obviously different skill sets, different positions, but what went into that? Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely like to, to play those guys as much as we can, but in this game, in this situation, you know, we're going to go with our best guys. And, uh, you know, we didn't have a lot of plays, you know, so I, I was looking at the play count every series. And, um, you know, they held the ball a little bit on, on defense, so we had some time. If we would have got higher in, in play count, then uh, we definitely would have played some of those other guys. But in that situation, every every drive, every play, the game's on the line, and you just want your best guys in there for that moment. And uh, eventually that will be uh, those other guys. But, you know, right now, uh, Deion, Ray Ray, and Renfro are kind of those guys in those crucial, crucial situations, which every snap in the second half was a crucial situation. The offense has been really balanced so far this season, but I think you guys went almost an entire quarter in the first half without running the ball. Was that something they were doing on defense or? Yeah, uh, they were bringing a lot of pressure, and uh, you know we have some RPOs and some outlet throws. Some of those hitches and th some of those slants were actually on run calls. And uh, when they brought so much pressure, more guys than we could block in the box, then uh, the quarterback made the right decision throwing the ball on the outside. And uh, you know we got to find a way as coaches, uh, even when they're bringing more guys in the box, find a way to run the ball. I thought we found a nice play on um, uh, Travis's run for a touchdown. Uh, maybe wish we could have found that earlier. Kelly never looked like he was comfortable running the ball in the first half. Did that, how much effect did that have on the game plan? Uh, I mean, obviously, we knew he was, um, you know, coming back from an injury, so we wanted to be smart with him. But, you know, that's still, I don't think, was the difference in the game. Uh, we should be able to, to run the ball without having to run the quarterback every time. Um, you know, so, you know, that in the big scheme of things, we don't look at that as being a big deal. What do you think was behind?